I will. Hi, Vanessa. Hi, Jessica. Another day on the hill. Another day. I'm coming in every day to the office. <laughs> it is Farm Bill Week. So we wanted to check in with you and just kind of hear the updates. Um, last Friday, we there was the draft. Uh, Chairman Thompson uh, released the draft of the House of Farm Bill. They're calling it a discussion draft. Um, so what what else is going on this week and and what did we what did we see that we liked and didn't like as far as young farmers priorities in the draft? Yeah, so what we are seeing is a complete divide between a lot of folks endorsing this proposal of the farm bill and many others like young farmers, hunger groups, climate groups and conservation groups opposing this proposal of the farm bill because we believe it doesn't do enough for us as young farmers and especially uh, included some good things that we need to celebrate and acknowledge and say thank you for, like improvements to credit access and experience and a pilot program uh, on pre-approval. And obviously the authorization of programs that we really care about, like SARE, Sustainable Agriculture Research and Education, and beginning farmer rancher training opportunities. But overall, all those maybe good things that are in the veil come to the huge expenses and costs through the SNAP nutrition program and through uh, the IRA climate guard rails. So that's the reason uh, we are opposing the bill. So Young Farmers is opposing the bill. Um, we are asking all House Ag Committee members to vote no this Thursday. Can you remind folks what, what is happening this Thursday? What is, what is the vote all about? Yeah, so basically we have a farm bill draft proposal. And on Thursday, we have something called markup when the House Agricultural Committee is gonna meet and is gonna change the bill or amend the bill, and then hopefully take it to the floor. What we are urging everyone is to please vote no on this bill because this is not a bill that delivers for young farmers. And this is not a bill that delivers for eaters in our communities. So we really wanna tell our elected members of Congress right now to vote no that this is the first draft, only one, and we can go back to the drawing room and negotiating table and do another draft that will better serve farmers, eaters, and everyone in this country. Mm -hmm. We really wanna see more related to land access, climate, access or climate action, access to conservation programs, farmer to farmer education, and so many of the other priorities that we have in our young farmer agenda. Um, we set up an action that people can go to at youngfarmers.org slash advocate, and they can contact their members. And if they're on committee, they can uh, urge them to vote no. And if uh, members are not on committee, um, they can just urge them to speak with their colleagues that are on the agriculture committee and, and vote no this Thursday. Um, what happens after markup? on Thursday. Traditionally, after markup, we will have a, bowl, a floor time schedule. Well, we don't think that's gonna happen because we don't have enough legislative days left in the, before the summer recess. So we think this is only a rush conversation to talk about the farm bill. So maybe it can be considered later on the year, but we do not think, and we're gonna see a floor vote when the entire House Agricultural Committee is gonna vote on it for our several months yet. Okay, well, thank you so much, Vanessa. Um, we'll let you go. I know it's a busy day, um, but we'll be following up with everybody on Thursday as the hearing takes place and um, share a recap on, on how that went. And uh, we'll be in touch with you soon. Okay, thank you, Jessica. Have a good Thanks, time. Vanessa. Take care. Bye.